my name is McKenna and I own the small business Palm Creative and this is my studio. Happy Monday, my friends. So we have another busy week. Um, last week was my mug launch and it did okay, better than usual. So today we're gonna pack orders. Um, so this morning I'm gonna get into right into packing orders. I already um, worked on um, getting my video posted, so the vlog for last week is now up. Um, and obviously we're in a new week, so you'll be watching this after it's already been out for like a week. Um, so that was done this morning, and then I made my goals and to-dos for this week. We have a lot to get done, a lot of design work, um, and then hopefully some market prep is what the goal is for the week. Um, but I think we're just going to get into the day. I'm going to start packing those orders, and then we will meet back again. <laughs> Okay, let's get into our first order. First, they got this sticker, Fight the Power Sunflower. I do have some more of my original sticker packaging, so I'm gonna use that up right now because I need to not waste. And then next, they did get a bookmark, and I think, let's see here. Yes, so they got a glossy, real. They got the glossy band book lover bookmark with no tassel. They also ended up getting the Have a Beautiful Mother's Day card. Um, they got a set of two, so here's the two different colors. And that's the back. Um, the inside is blank, so you can write everything, and it comes with um, a pink envelope. So I'm gonna get those all packaged up together. cards all packaged up so cute and then this cute bookmark and a sticker oh. and then of course they get a shop card and the free sticker they're so cute together and then this order out of the way um, we're gonna use one of the small mailers let's see I'm gonna use the star one that came free um, from Magical Mailers. They always send like a free one to test out along with your order. So I think this one's a cute one too. So this is one of the tote bags um, someone ordered and I realized it doesn't have the inside um, tag and so I'm gonna do that really quick before we package this.
Okay, so I packaged my orders. They're over there and I filmed a little bit of it. Um, and then I filmed some TikToks as well. And then I just sent out my first ever email blast with my new um, site that I'm using. So I'm using um, MailChimp and so I was gonna show you. Um, let's see. There we go. Yeah, so this is the little thing I sent out because I realized I had not sent an email blast out um, for the mugs and I never sent email blasts. So I decided today would be the day. So I sent out an email to my subscribers. I only have about like 200 um, people subscribed. So I'm like the lower plan right now and I'm doing the trial to see if I like it. So yeah, we got that done. Now I feel like it is that time of the day I need to get working on design stuff since I have that call tomorrow. Um, I haven't like made everything for the coffee cozies. I'm also trying to figure out, this is the thing I'm having a struggle with. I wanna have two, at least two design options on my website as well as in person, but it is kind of expensive to do these things which it, it makes sense like you know you're manufacturing something and but yeah it's just hard because if I want to have two different sizes like the 16 ounce and then like the venti size um you know you're paying you have to pay a hundred dollars or not sorry not a hundred dollars it's way more than a hundred dollars you have to pay for a hundred um units so their minimum for this company is a hundred units so I'm trying to figure out like basically I'd have 400 coffee cozies coming to my house if I order, you know, the two sizes of each time. Anyway, it's just expensive. So I'm trying to make the decision for myself if that's something I want to splurge on. I think it would do well and it's like, I would just, you know, really try to get those going. Also, I think, I don't know if I talked about this at all in my other vlogs now that I think about it, but I'm gonna briefly touch base on this. So TikTok shop, I was on it for a while we had a little disagreement. I then got on support and I found that I, if I, I can have my shop reopened. And so I'm trying to decide if that's something I wanna do as a business. It was something that honestly was amazing for me. It bumped my videos really well and is it really, it paid nicely for what I was selling and it gave coupons and stuff. Um, but I'm trying to make that decision if I wanna get back on TikTok shop. Um, but that is a decision I need to make soon because I can I can get back on there. So those are the things on my brain today. And then yeah, those orders are packed. So I think I'm going to have to hunker down and focus on the design work and really get into it. Happy Tuesday, my friends. So I had my call already this morning. I applied to a market and I figured out kind of my plan for the day. And it's, it's only 9 a.m. So I feel pretty productive already. Um, I The call went really well with the vendor that I'm working with for the Coffee Cozies. I now feel super confident in all of it. I wasn't really nervous. You know how sometimes you get a little nervous for calls? I was only a teeny bit nervous. I really don't get phone call anxiety anymore because of how much I had to call people in my previous jobs. So that's like a positive. Um, and then he answered all my questions. It was super easy. So I'm very happy. I think I'll be able to order these coffee cozies this week. Um, and then it will be about two to three weeks before they are delivered or shipped or whatever to me. Um, so they won't be at one of my first markets, but they will be at all the future markets. So I'm pretty excited. Um, something I've been wanting to do for a long time. And last night I worked on the designs and I got a little bit of anxiety. That was like where the anxiety was. I was worried they would want me to have these designs ready to go um, during the call. And I was like, oh, I, I'm gonna change all the stuff I'm doing. <laughs> they also haven't sent me the templates for the sizing. So I'm just kind of waiting on that um, to figure out the sizing. But I'm gonna finish the design today. Today's a design dine dine day. <laughs> Design, dine, dine. Uh, I don't know. Um, so I'm gonna work on that and then I'm praying. I'm happy with it. I'm just very picky and since it is an expensive, oh my god, taco. It's an expensive <laughs> process to order these. I, oh my god, taco. <laughs> um, it's an expensive way to order these. So I need to make sure I'm happy with this design because it is quite a bit of money. I don't know what he's doing. He's like twitching his little 
cats, am I right? To be in the vlog so bad. Taco. Finishing the Toffee Cozy designs, and then I'm gonna work on apparel and anything else that I've been really itching to work on. I have a lot of design work to do. I'm a little nervous. Um, and then I packed the orders yesterday. I haven't had another one, so we'll just we'll hope. And then yeah, let's just let's just get into the day. Let's stop chatting. I'm gonna get into it. Okay, so I've been working on ideas for um, mug launches as well as some other products. I'm kind of feeling like I need, really need to, I know I've been saying this probably a few times on this vlog, but I really need to up my inventory and like options. I kind of like went through and I was like, man, I really feel like I'm lacking in some areas and products. So anyway, that's what I am working on. I did some social media posts, um, filmed a little bit, and now I'm working on the cozies so this is a design i'm working on it's kind of like cutesy clouds um i'm still trying to decide if this is the way i want to go with the blue and like the specific rainbows but yeah so that's one of them and the other one's going to be a quote um i feel like one of the ones in the first round really needs to have a lot of pink since my brand's very pink and happy um so yeah i need to get i need to get my little patootie moving so Without further ado, let's start designing because now the house is empty. That was also kind of what I was waiting on. Um, I kind of wrote out all my ideas and hadn't really sketched anything yet um, because my dog was being a menace. So we're gonna turn some music on, it'll be a vibe. I might go get a nice coffee in a little bit um, to, as a treat. <laughs> Um, but I'm gonna get into get into designing. Hey, I am so excited about this design. Um, I'm a little nervous that it might be too niche, but I mean, it's only a hundred that I'm ordering to start out. So if it doesn't go well, then we figure it out. But I'm really excited, so I'm gonna show you. I'm not gonna share this on anywhere else except on my YouTube, so you're seeing this here. So it's gonna be, it's a beautiful day for iced coffee, sunshine, and crafts. It's gonna be light pink with a dark pink like ridge. Um, I'm trying to say I don't wanna add anything else to it. I kinda like just how simple and cute it is. I don't know, I'm upset. Like I'm literally, I'm literally so obsessed. Like I'm gonna use this a lot. <laughs> and I'm really excited about this gradient I just made. Um, it's gorgeous and I'm already like, oh my god, what else can I make with it? Um, but now I need to figure out the other ones. So I'm having a hard time since this one has crafts in it. That's where I'm a little nervous that it's too niche. I'm also like, I don't know, crafty bitches, you know? We love coffee and we love cute things. So I'm hoping that does well. The other design, I feel like I kind of want to go with this, like the clouds and stuff. I'm just trying to decide if it should have a quote. I was gonna just do a pattern and then a quote item, but now I'm like, should I have two quotes? I don't know, this is like really hard to make a decision on, but I'm already like, I kinda wanna just be done with this part. I haven't gotten an email back from my vendor though, which is a tiny bit concerning. I'm guessing he's not able to find the template that I asked for is my guess, but we'll see. Let's double check our spam. No, well, I don't know. <laughs> fudge a little bit more with this. I feel like the colors are still not right with this design. Um, but the other one, the craft one, I'm obsessed with and I'm gonna use that <laughs> all the time. Um, which is, you know, always a good sign that I, you love your own designs enough to use it all the time. Okay, I started on a new design. <laughs> I'm obsessed, you guys. So I started on the fandom inspired um, book items just now. And so I'm starting with a bookmark, and it's from A Court of Mist and Fury, and I, I'm obsessed. I bet you know exactly what quote it is, but. So far, that's what I have. And then obviously, the back will be in the dreams that are answered. It's gonna be so freaking cute. Um, but I just started on that. I'm gonna, I think, work on this stuff the rest of the night um i'm gonna work on also so i think i'm gonna do like a fandom inspired and um a book lover part two launch because i did a part one in december and i have a lot more ideas and i just want to expand that product line um of book related items 
and I just need to get out of my system because I've been thinking about these, I have a ton of ideas. So I'm gonna sit down and just keep working on this pretty much the rest of the night, I think. Um, and I'll keep showing you little things I'm working on. I also need to edit some TikTok stuff because I don't know, TikTok and Reels is not doing so well today. And I'm wondering if my content's just not hitting, hitting the algorithm and it's not, it's not right vibing, I guess. I don't know. Um, but I'm gonna keep working on this. I'm so excited. It looks so good. I'm having a good, good designing day. Good morning and happy Wednesday. So the rest of last night I worked on new designs. Um, I'm not 100% done with them, so I don't want to show them yet. Um, and they're kind of like in that whip process. But today I think is going to be another big design day. I am hoping manifesting that I'm happy with my coffee cozies and will send them to the manufacturer to go over the proofs and then I also am going to hopefully get all these um most of the t-shirt designs done apparel designs so then I can send that off as well um yeah it's gonna be another design day I'm thinking I might want to go to a coffee shop at some point if I'm feeling less productive here we'll see we'll see <laughs> I've gotten quite a bit done. I've been working on figuring out how I want my vendor display to be for the upcoming markets as well as kind of brainstorming. Last night I sit up super late and ended up getting a lot of work done. Uh, most of it was just brainstorming and coming up with all my launches but I feel very good about it. Um, today we're going to finish up the design stuff that we need to and then we're going to go through um, the tote bags that I had ordered um, which I had shown in pre a previous vlog but I'm gonna go through them and decide if I'm gonna return some of them because some of the quality is just not I'm not into it and then we're gonna work on um some apparel designs and we're also gonna pack some orders together so it's a busy day and we're just gonna get into it the sun came out and lavender is getting her sun puppy time this California weenie needed her sunshine yeah <laughs> It's like actually sunny today, which is a blessing we must enjoy. And I went and got a nice coffee. It was super nice. Um, I didn't feel like bringing my camera or anything. It just was a nice little break from the day. So that's like 4.30. I have so much to do. I feel, I feel a little sluggish today. I haven't been feeling super awesome. Um, I've mostly been focusing on social media stuff as well as um uh, what was I working on vendor um ideas for my markets so which is all productive and good but I need to finish this coffee cozy situation because I am throwing out the other design I had I'm happy with the one <clears throat> but I, I don't like the other one like I'm just I keep looking at it and I'm like I am not happy and since it is an investment, I need to make sure I'm really happy with um, what I'm doing. So we are going to focus and we're going to make this 
freaking happen? I don't know why I'm having such a hard time today. I just feel very unfocused and a little sluggish. I'm hoping I'll just like get really inspired. Like last night I got so much done. So I'm like, fingers crossed the the vibes, the vibes increase. Um, so now I'm gonna get back into designing and then I really need to focus on apparel. I need to figure out this mug thing or the sleeve thing and then move to apparel and like make decisions. I think I'm just getting a little too overwhelmed with the amount of stuff I need to do. And I just wanna have enough product at my markets that is different. And um, I think that's where I'm getting a little overwhelmed. A lot of my stuff right now is book related, which I love and I am doing another launch coming up with that. But I need to, I was working on my location launch, which I'm hoping to be next week because I got a lot done last night. <clears throat> so yeah, I just, it's just feeling like a lot, a lot to do, a lot to make, a lot to do. So I'm gonna stop talking and I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the things. <laughs> Friday my friends today I already have gotten quite a bit done that I have not filmed I ended up finalizing and submitting the invoice for the coffee cozies so they are officially in manufacturing they'll send me a proof um, a little bit further into the process it takes them like two to three weeks I think is what they said um, before I think they ship it to me or by the time I don't know something like that so I'm very excited it's something I've been wanting to do for a long time and it was fun to learn the process of going through and manufacturer since a lot of what I do is um, made by me in my little studio um, the most I've really dealt with manufacturers is for my screen print transfers and basically any transfers I've dealt with that and stickers but this was a new one for me, so I, I built a little info sheet with like the Pantone colors. It was great. Now we are going to get into the rest of Friday. So I'm going to press some um, band book sweatshirts and t-shirts because I'm low in inventory and I also just want to have um, some of that kind of done for markets since the green is my most popular um, one. I've noticed so we're gonna do that um, and also shoot some content for that because I haven't really shot a pressing video in a hot minute um, but that's on the the agenda and then I'm also going to hopefully get my vendor market to-do list and like info everything written down of what I'm thinking um, just because I need to get I need to get my booty into gear for that because markets are coming up really fast and what else do I have to do today? And I need to order and design <laughs> apparel again. So that's something that's what I like to do. I've worked on some things and I started working on designs last night, but I got super tired. So, you know, it is what it is. So now I'm going to get into this beautiful Friday. It was supposed to rain and it is blue skies. So I might, I might be going outside at some point because it is rare. Uh, in the winter to have this kind of weather is what I hear. I'm used to my California weather, but we are we are adjusting. <laughs> Let's get into this Friday. Okay, so I think I'm gonna post a poll about the sublimation totes because I cannot make this decision worth a damn. So these just seem <clears throat> too cheap to me. They feel, they're thick, but they're definitely feel more plasticky. But I'm like, is it, does it make sense if it is, how do I word this? <laughs> I don't know. I think I'm just gonna post a poll and see what people think because I have no idea. And then these ones I'm just like are a little flimsy, but they do feel more like a tote bag. <clears throat> but today I need to make that decision because I need to ship these back if I don't like them. Um, but I think now we're gonna get into pressing and I'm gonna post this poll to see what people think. Okay, so here's everything I'm going to press this morning. 
Um, I just want to get like at least one of each size back on the shelves because I don't really have that right now. So this is the green, the evergreen band booked cruise. Streets are bare, roaming the road. If you're not there, I'm on my own. Daylight breaks on the ocean. coffee shop bookstore adventure we ended up walking around um quite a bit and went to like a thrift store and went to another bookstore um which you probably saw in this vlog already um but yeah so now that i'm back um what else happened oh i got into another market and it's a pretty big one it's gonna be in portland it's the unique market um that they do all over the country there's a couple different um ones through the same company i guess or whatever um kind of like renegade and so i'm like really excited but i'm a little nervous because it is out of town and it is two days so i'm gonna have to like stay in portland most likely um because i think that drive twice would be exhausting um, but so that one i think is going to be in may so yeah lots of market stuff happening um, I should find out some more, I uh, like, I should find out soon about some other markets, but, uh, yeah, so basically what I worked on at the bookstore coffee shop area was figuring out market, um, like display stuff as well as things that I want to change. Um, my husband usually helps me at markets and so he helps me set up and, um, usually stays with me. Um, uh, probably this year I'll do more by myself at some point, but it is nice having somebody there, um, to hang out with and also help with when it gets crazy. So, um, we were talking about, I kind of asked him like what he thought could go better and what would be easier, um, as far as like checking out and making it easier for customers as well and on us, um, as well as for us. 
But anyway, so it was a it was a good talk, and now I'm very overwhelmed with the amount of things I need to do. I've been doing a lot of research um, for the last I guess hours since we got home, figuring out what I want to do as far as my display. Um, but I feel like there's so much to that I'm getting that like. Ooh. So I feel like I need to take just like a little break, maybe a little reading break or something to soothe the nerves um, <laughs> because I just feel like there's a lot of stuff to think about. And then I do need to um, work on designing, I think probably for the rest of the night, which is not really interesting to watch, but I have a lot of good ideas and I feel very confident about the markets coming up. I just need to like hone in what I want to do. I think we're going to do like a little mock um, setup with um, our tables down in our storage unit, but I need to like I think I said it a couple of vlogs ago now, but I do need to do a big organization and get some more shelving down there and make it really nice. Right now I haven't really needed to be down there too much, but I have a feeling with all these markets and getting myself kind of like prepared for if it blows up, um, which is obviously the goal with your small business, um, I want to make sure I'm ready to go as far as my backup storage. So. Yeah, that will probably happen next week in the vlog. Happy Saturday, my friends. So I'm not exactly sure how this day will go. I do need to work on designs. I know my famous last words. Last night, I just got a little too tired, so I ended up not doing it. Um, I worked on a little bit, but it was, it was over it. Um, so today, I think we're going to go out and I'm hopefully going to find some stuff for my markets and... I don't know, have some fun and I will take you along for the journey. So I found these really cute pink little cups um, that I'm going to use for markets. They were Marshalls, I think they were like $4.99 a piece. Um, this is what I usually use for my straws, <clears throat> and so I wanted to do something a little different and have them organized differently. So sometimes I might do them by color, other times I might do them by style. So I have three different styles of straws. I have this curly one, um, these that are kind of like a little slanted, and then just straight up. And there's a whole bunch of different colors, but I thought it might be nice to have a little bit smaller ones because sometimes I might use this, but it is nice to have a little bit smaller straw options just in case I don't have as big of a setup. I don't have to use the big ones. And then I also found these um, organizers for stickers at Marshalls. They were $30 a piece. Um, I ended up getting two because, let's see, let's show you the current one. Probably gonna keep using this, but I want to make it a little easier organization wise. And these were great because they do come with um, little separators. So where are they in here? You can probably see them in there. So I'm excited if I can organize them and have more than one design in here and it won't get messy. Let's do this just so we can pull one out. Yeah, so they have these little organizers. Let's see. That's super handy. So yeah, I think it'll be nice. I mean, I won't always be able to do all three organizations because some of my stickers are kind of big, but let's grab one of the smaller ones and then a bigger one just to... So right now it is pretty, pretty messy. Let's do this one and this one. So if I have like a bigger one in there and then the smaller ones up front, I think that would be pretty good. Um, Obviously, there's still some room, but it is what it is, because I'm pretty sure, yeah, they can't stand up straight for most of it. Um, some of them can, obviously, like this one could. Oh my god, there we go. So, and then I need to figure out how I want to, as far as organizing goes, how to label everything. Um, but yeah, I think that will be super good. And handy. So it's now like five o'clock and I most likely the rest of the night will be working on um, more designs as well as starting to edit this week's vlog. So I think this is a good place to stop. Um, Taco of course really wants to be in <laughs> the end of this vlog. Um, but yeah so next week will be a lot more 
prep work for this upcoming market and kind of getting everything organized in my storage unit and making lots of new things. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this week in my life and sometimes it is a lot of computer work, other times it's not and I think it's gonna just keep getting ramped up since we're about to get into market season and already now I'm in four markets just in the next like two months. So it's pretty exciting and nerve wracking. But anyway, thank you so much for watching this week's vlog and let me know if you have any questions about running a small business or if you wanna see other videos. Every other week I do a video not related to vlogs and usually it's like tips on running a business or you know, a craft. Last week, I think last week I did studio vlog and then the next one will be kind of a how-to tutorial. So it's very exciting. Thank you so much for watching and subscribe, like all those things and I hope you have a beautiful day.